creeps stop, just landed. Stop it! Oh, sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> so we're here this morning to talk about the alternator. Oh. We've actually that has been a really, really been a nightmare. Yeah. It's been about the belt really. Dragging us down yeah. the whole way along. Because Andy got the belt and then it, he's, he ordered two belts, one for spare. So he got the belt for the one that's okay, the alternator. So he's kept that. Then we had a problem. It was out of stock for the one that we wanted to put on, replace. So we've well, had Should we just talk through the whole story of the oh. alternator then? Yeah, okay. Go on, Andy. Where did it start? Who? You. The alternator problem. What have I got to talk about? The alternator! <laughs> Lip sake. Oh, well, the alternator God. was only given out 12.4 <laughs> volts and it should be given out 14.4. So that was the beginning of the problem. The belt was really loose. It was like, well, crazy. So I tightened it up to maximum, but it still squeals. Um, so getting the, I ordered two new belts, one for the left hand, one for the right hand. The belt came for the right hand alternator which is not the one we need to fix but the left hand alternator was out of stock so <laughs> and you get, bought two new alternators getting a refund i'm getting on to that oh okay so comb your hair <laughs> so and then we bought two new alternators they're okay they're um a replacement for the lucas a27s yeah but w shopping around for them was a nightmare wasn't it yeah one day went to a marina or was it a Work a boat workshop. Shandry. No one was there. Mm. Yeah. Had to call the number. He said, "Oh, I don't sell those, but you can probably get it here." And that was auto on New Year's Parts Day. Direct, wasn't it? Yeah, auto parts direct. Which wasn't open. That was on New Year's Day, so no, it was nothing open. So we had to go down a couple of days later. I went there and spent about thirty minutes yeah. in there, and then turns out they don't have the belt or the alternator. No, they had an alternator, but they weren't the right one. So that was the end of that. As usual, so we achieve nothing again. We keep doing this, going out trying to achieve things, and we don't seem to get anywhere. Oh, hello, Liquish. No, so we just ordered them <laughs> offline in the end and got them uh, delivered. <coughs> delivered, to yeah. Argos. To the Chubby Locker in Reading. No, Argos. Oh, yeah, to Argos. It was from eBay. Picked them up from Argos. And that was a nightmare as well because so, well, we haven't even tried to put them on yet so maybe they, they still are the wrong oh i hope not god <laughs> watch your space that they, we they're gonna they're gonna try and put one on they're just gonna keep the other one for spare the new one because there's nothing wrong with the uh, other one is there we're trying to get them on because they're right at the bulkhead the engine is well, around the other way well we think they're the right ones because i need it's Lucas 127 or something. A127s, yeah, no, I'm not worried about that. And we're more worried about trying to get in to do them. I've got to be more like a leprechaun, like a like an Irish <laughs> leprechaun to get <laughs> in there. He's, he's warming up the engine now, and just it's nice and warm enough because it's not very warm. It's cold outside, so I'm just mm. putting the engine on to warm myself up. And it yeah. was um, yesterday the lake froze over. Yeah, didn't it? lake froze over. Yeah. The seagulls were walking across the lake. <laughs> be like today, working though. in a freezer for an hour, so I'm warming it up in there at the moment. And we're going to try and get this alternate job finally done so we can actually survive on our own. Because in low revs at the moment, all you hear is that whistle from the uh, alternate belt. Yeah, we want to get... Oh, crikey. Well, we've been stuck here for two weeks, now, over two weeks now, and we just want to get out of here now. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a nightmare. We're just waiting for the Kinnett Navin to open up, then we're gone. Yeah, we oh. went yesterday to see if it was low, but it's still running really fast. We've got 12 fast. days left in the arena. Arena? Before Marina, we have to for free. Yeah, before we have to start paying, because we bought the boat from Tinge Jean Marina at Pyford, they've given us 28 days free mooring, which is brilliant, because I was really getting worried about how much it was going to cost, and it would cost a lot, because after that 28 days, which is the 20th of January, it's going to cost 30 quid a night to stay here. That's without the electric. Electric's mm. quite good. Worked out yeah. that's only a couple of quid a day, which is yeah, good. Yeah, so let's get the job done and get out of there. Yeah. So hopefully we just oh I just so desperate to get on the bloody river really. You've only been on it four days. Yeah, I've we, only been on it four we days. I've been on it a lot longer. <sighs> you wouldn't want to be with. We us. drove up there yesterday and she had a look and she was like, I want to get on the canal. Yeah. So let's. It was quite nice that little walk yesterday, wasn't it? It's freezing, but it was nice. Mm. Yeah. My ears. We we'll make got, a whole. We we'll make a whole update video of I got big what's happening so the last getting cold. two weeks. Mm. Yeah. So um, stay tuned for that. I'm not sure if it's coming up before this one or after this one. Stop it, licorice! 
Hey, Chris. What? For Christ's sake. Well, all right, we'll see you right, later. See you later. Bye. Oh. I have to get some of that water out. You used a bit of rubber to. Oh, that's botchy. You've used a bit of rubber in there. Old pipe rubber to clamp that on so I'll have to sort that out. Taking off the top adjuster bolt. Tell you what, that's good stuff, cardboard. My um, head gasket went on my Mark II Escort in the Falklands. <laughs> I cut out some cardboard from a cornflakes or cereal or something and used that as the head gasket and clamped it down. I tell you, <laughs> it lasted a whole year before it went again. You can't hardly get any parts down in their fork and islands. <laughs> Sit on my lap. <laughs> what are you giggling about? <laughs> Sit on my lap. So it's time to remove the alternator, which doesn't seem too hard of a job, except when you have two people in an engine and that's built for a, a midget, probably. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's better for me as well. Oh, that hurts. I'm just trying to loosen it at the moment. Tighten and re-tighten. Until I can get... Oh, no, we can't get on there. Let me think. My mallet's in there. Don't do that to a new alternator. <laughs> Actually, the old alternators that used to get them. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what made us squeak so much okay. in past vlogs coming up the Thames. Just completely had it. It's not even the right thickness, I don't think. It's the new bout's up there. <laughs> so close quarters. That's the new bout. See the difference in thickness? Mm. You can only scratch a chicken with that. Yes! There we go. That tapping in it and re tightening it and re loosening it's actually set it free now. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say so much corroded, but I don't know why this is being such a weirdo. I think it's been on there a long time. I think that should just pull out now. It should just slide out. There we go. Yeah, you were right. It's got some corrosion on it. You'll see in future vlogs, corrosion becomes quite a bit of a problem for us in the engine room. And that bit of rust in between is what's yeah, stopping it coming out. So we have to oil that, grease it up before we put it back in. Oh, that was tight. That was tight. No, that's too big. I have a too big or too small in this set. Mm. What's that one? Oh, there we are. That's a universal alternator. See the different holes? You can use it practically on any vehicle when it's got holes like that. So I think we better treat and lubricate that bolt before we put it back in. It's smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's because we've got the parts for the alternator. <laughs> now it's snowing. In the meadow we can build a snowman. And then there he is, and brown. He'll say, are you a new Lucas? You can do the jumping around town. I hate, I always hate the bottom part. Lubricating all the connectors as well goes a long way. It's 
all nice and tight. Just loosening the adjuster bracket onto the actual engine, this bit here, so I can get it in a perfect alignment. Uh, I want, because you can, I lifted it right up there so I can get that other belt tight, but you can see why that other belt has had it, couldn't you? Please fit. This is the exact one it says in my book in there. Wow, would you just look at the colour difference of the alternators? It truly did need replacing, I think. Not liking that at all. It's supposed to be the one for this. It's the wrong one again. No, 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 it's, too, it's just too thick, I think. Let me go up here a minute. Oh, I don't want to have to do that. That is what it recommends in our book. That size, A39. But it's wrong again. No, not necessarily. So by having two alternators, Dad can actually get a good look at how the belt fit and what it looked like. Because inside the engine room, um, you can't really see much. What we can do is try it. It's not. It's it's a, a heavy duty belt, so it's perfect for what we want. But it's about three millimeters too wide for some reason, and it should be exactly the same. Not exactly the same thickness as that. That's too thin. He should be in the middle of both. Yeah. It must be the right thickness because that is the right run. In our book and online and on websites, the SPA 900, that's 900 mil, fits the right hand alternator, the one that does the uh, water pump and uh, the oil in that, so that's that one, but there's an, uh, an SPA975 which was out of stock, which does this left hand one, which is slightly longer, as you can see, the two differences. That's what I wanted to check with. So that is the right thickness then, because that is an SPA975, so it must be right. So it does go in, as you can see, this is a different this is a different alternator. And if I tension it up right, it should be just right. Look at that. See? I'm just a bit worried that it doesn't go all the way in. Frozen. <laughs> I was trying to read Chinese, but it's not happening. I keep giving myself lessons in it. But... Ni hao. Humly! That's, hello, how are you? It doesn't say me how humly on the belt, so I don't know what it says. Because you are an idiot, probably. Oh. Pump out, can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, I can't get comfortable, Josh. Back's killing me. No, it's not it. How do I get in here? I don't think it's meant to be comfortable anyway, is it? No. I wouldn't make a tunnel wrap, would I? Goodness, I just thought of a vampire. What? Oh. I've been waiting for a girl like you. Coming from my mind. I've been waiting for someone new. Make me feel like you. Do you remember that film? Uh-huh. What was it called? Wait a minute. Right. Uh, a vampire that lived next door. <laughs> <sighs> 
just tighten up the adjuster on the engine arm now. That's it. Perhaps that smell. Oh god, someone's doing it again. Okay. Maybe. You make it very impossible for me to get out of the end one day. <laughs> Let me get out first then. But this is the claustrophobia. This is the claustrophobia. We <laughs> talk to each other. They're tripping on eight ball. Hmm. Can you hear them? Yeah. Mm. Whoop. Whoop. It might be after a bit of after a bit of running in, it might need um So unfortunately, as you can see, we forgot to do an outro. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, guys. Um, but if you did enjoy the video, please like, please subscribe, check out our Patreon, check out our PayPal, check out our Facebook, check them all out. And don't worry, the alternate is working perfectly as it should. Um, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.